Hello and welcome to Weekends with Ventura. I'm Harshleta Sarang and we have Mr. Amarnath. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, Harshleta. Uh, we are here to discuss on uh, yesterday's uh, announcement by our finance minister and how it's going to impact on our investments. The market has given yesterday a huge thumbs up after the announcement by our finance minister. So uh, what do you think? We can call it as a mini budget, right? Uh, so what are the readings we take from yesterday's announcement? Uh, I think we can look at the readings from a near term perspective and a medium term perspective. That's how I think we should interpret it. Uh, near term, one can say the simple arithmetic is whatever the special payout from RBI was there has been entirely given as a tax uh, benefit to the corporate sector. Okay. So that's uh, one part of it. Second is in terms of global timing, I think the one issue which was uh, uh, top of mind was uh, whether India would be able to position itself well uh, for being a beneficiary of uh, whatever is the fallout of the uh, US-China uh, trade wars right, uh, and I think uh, this uh, tax break has uh, created a level playing field to a significant uh, extent uh, and clearly I think the tax break gives more money for the corporates to decide what they want to do with it uh, and for new uh, investors to come into India particularly through the FDI route so clearly MNCs uh, companies are going to be the big uh, beneficiary uh, of this. Uh, the, I think on the medium term, uh, we would need to look at it uh, in two ways. One is what will be the fiscal multiplier of this and whether it will translate into rebound in GDP growth and therefore tax revenues for the government. And the second aspect uh, relates to how it stimulates uh, demand in the economy, though it will not directly do it, but uh, even if it's indirect, uh, how it pans out. So the demand side remains the same, like the situation is wait and watch. So it's not the uh, slowdown in the demand, it's we are being, uh, you know, debating on it from last few months. So does that side of the equation also need a stimulus? That's I think the million dollar question and uh, I think the market has had its big rally and big increase in uh, okay. market cap uh, and recovered most of the loss, I think from the budget levels in terms of the market but demand is uh, not yet on the horizon uh, we have the big festive season the the Saira Diwali coming up right. and uh, clearly the government has little room after having given this uh, huge bonanza yesterday for giving any more cuts whether on GST or anything but having said that I think uh, there is some attempt being made at a demand side uh, stimulus through what has been in the media last couple of days uh, that there is going to be a kind of a loan mela spread over 400-500 districts mm -hmm. between September 23rd to October 10th. So that is possibly the sort of uh, expected to be not a bazooka like yesterday but uh, definitely, definitely going to some yeah, create some impact on that. So let's wait and watch how the next 10 days the uh, loan melas play out. Loan melas are seen to be populist, uh, hence uh, it is not positive for banking sector and the economy, right? Yeah, that's the, you know, conventional uh, economics, yes, but I think given the situation we are in, I think it did call for some kind of unconventional means to, you know, fire up, uh, you know, activity and uh, <coughs> GDP formation. So in that sense, uh, this measure had to be taken and uh, clearly near term it has a negative in terms of you know it could it is going to expand the fiscal deficit maybe to 3.7 percent maybe to 3.9 percent depending on how, how the near term plays out uh, but uh, we'll have to live with that it's going to lead to some increase in interest rates in in the second half of the financial year uh, but i think looking at it over a um, medium term perspective of 2-3 years because most of the projects who are going to get the tax breaks have to complete and be in production by 2023 March. So with that we need to obviously look for the fact that whether all this will collectively help the economy to grow and tax collections to grow and uh, overcome the short term pain and long term there will be a lot of gain. 
uh, given the multiple factors are playing out uh, from near and medium term perspective, uh, how should an investor approach to the market? That's, I think, after yesterday's <coughs> rally, that becomes an even <coughs> more important uh, question to address and a right. tougher one. Yeah. But I would say that you should stick to the basic principles like you were sticking to till day before yesterday, before the announcement. So, uh, so first thing is stick to quality. Uh, then also stick to spreading your allocation over a reasonable time period. So one would say the next six months could possibly be a very good opportunity to review and rebuild a portfolio for the longer term and having said that we would say possibly that over the six months first two months you should allocate a third of the amount you want to invest and then spread it out over you know the following two months two months so every two months possibly allocate a third of your portfolio and definitely whatever you already own review it yeah. thoroughly use this opportunity to do that okay uh, so now this was about uh, asset allocation so how about stock picking or you know picking any particular sector i think one clear winner after friday's uh, announcement everything is the mnc sector so with lower tax rates uh, yeah. clearly it can leaves them with more cash in hand uh, which one hopes that it will not lead to just higher dividend payouts by the MNCs and it will lead to them increasing their investment plans and focus on India. So that, that will be one sector which one should play out. I think automobiles and IT, though automobiles benefit from a tax perspective, but I think the demand side of the equation is still tricky and with all the EVs etc. So automobiles and IT, uh, we would be underweight uh, relative to the index weights. Uh, so that's uh, uh, thing. Banking, again, we would prefer that we stick to the private banks uh, rather than the public uh, sector banks. Uh, as I said, primarily because of the loan mela factor. And uh, mid caps, I think one should start building in. One can start allocating maybe 10% of portfolio to mid caps uh, over the same six month allocation period. And small caps and micro caps, I think uh, one would still wait and watch and possibly not uh, take any action before uh, the first quarter of FI21. To conclude this job, despite of yesterday's euphoria, we would suggest you to continue discipline of sector allocation and stock picking. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.